SUVs and pickups. Mm -hmm. I think uh, the SUVs, you know, that's something that, like, the fact that we have five children and we don't own a car. So when we rent a car, we're usually going on long journeys where we have not only our five kids, but we uh, sometimes will have a babysitter or a cousin or something like that. Or, like, six pieces of luggage. Or, or so much luggage. We can't even fit in a anything minivan. but a large SUV. Like, it has to be a big one. And so we've kind of, like, been forced to kind of, like, even climbing into an SUV, the experience, the... The, the gas. You know, the, the, the gas, the kind of, like... Culturally, how we've always been debating the SUVs. And how we've always been like, we should get rid of these SUVs, and then we just started like making more SUVs. Yeah. And, and then so, also, I think one of the things that seemed so ludicrous about the pickup truck is that like there's like two seats in the pickup truck. And the most of the cargo that we have to carry is like human. Right. So it just seems like so opposite. And the pickup truck, that was inspired by my brother, Mike, Mike. when we visited him. Uh, he lives outside of Peoria. And... I remember he's always had a pickup truck, and he's never, like, he, he's never really had, like, a, a a man's bench or anything, like a woodworking bench or anything. He's just, like, that's what he or identifies. He's like, he's, like, not a construction guy. No, he's not. But that's what he drives. And And so, but, like, there's something about the car thing. I do come from this car family where I do feel like I'm missing something. Like, I remember when I was... In my 30s, and I would hear my brothers and sisters talk about real estate, I'd be like, how boring are you? But that's how I still feel when I hear people talk about cars. I'm like, I don't, but why is that so interesting? It's just a form of transportation. 